Ich gehöre längst nicht mehr zur Welt der Sterblichen. Ich fürchte hier nichts von niemand. Willst du wissen, wer ich bin? Ich bin Vegeta! Hello guys, it's Mr. Shark where you back here once again. You should have tried the video. The epic showdown with the middleweight titles belt. Oh my god. The epic showdown between Keith, motherfucking dragon, and Takamura, the flying show in Haga, Japan. It's cut up in the next few chapters, and these are the predictions. These are my thoughts. Because arguably, I pretty much said most of the things I wanted to say about the fight in the uh, inside the chapter reviews. Everything I thought about and how things gonna play out. Like I said, it, it wouldn't make any sense to me what oh before the match Takamura get get injured and things like that, so people might try to argue, oh but he got thrown to the glass. Like I pointed out in the video, Takamura is Iron Man. He, he's forged of steel more than I, I mind is. Like he, this man has been thrown through glass naked without any problems. I'm pretty sure with clothes on, he should just be fine. But this is a uh, excellent fight we got here. Some people have deemed Keith Dragon the most likable Takamura character, uh, Takamura opponent yet, which is uh, Dave Glee was a pretty alright guy. And with Richard Bison, I thought we got too much build up or background to him. Like, hey, look, he showed up to Tokyo or anything like that. So it's just we really got the chance to know like David Eagle, Brian Hawk, and uh, Keith Dragon, pretty much. I, I could be remembering wrong, could be, but. I recall no like hearing too much about uh Brian uh Richard Bison before he showed up. I think he just showed up with the whole card with Sendo and Misha. But I could be wrong, but eh. uh, but this is uh this is still an interesting fight because we still don't know what the ground cannon is. We still don't know what the heaven cannon is, and we don't know what type of trick Takamura could would bring up because I don't think people remember how pretty much how vast Takamura Arsenal is when it comes to the sport because I was unaware until I reread some chapters. That even Takamura can do the Eilie Shuffle. What is he? What 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 can Takamura not do? Ask Richard Bison, cause he'll tell you he can do anything. And also, which is quite interesting, this is pretty much has ended the uh, the middleweight saga of uh, major Takamura opponents, where it was Brian Hawk, then David Eagle knew Brian Hawk, and then it was Richard Bison who knew David Eagle for the unification. Now we just have an enemy who just so far, as far as we know. He is another New Yorker, all right. But as far as we know, he does not know anything about David Eagle, Brian Hawk, or Richard Bison. As far as you know, this could easily change in the upcoming chapter that's coming up this week if there's no break. I cannot remember if there is or not. I believe that there is not from what I can remember. It has been a few decades since I've been knee deep in information, so I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm, I'm just some, I'm, I'm the wizard like I used to be. Well, well, not the wizard, I'm the encyclopedia like I used to be. It, 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 has, it has been a few years. Stop shooting them damn blasting. But, uh, we were first to talk more. I believe he's fine. Uh, some might say, what about that leg wound that showed up earlier? This is the same man who fought with a trolley horse. This is the same man who fought and ran out of stamina doing like the second half of the fight with Brian Hawk. And this is the same man who pretty much beat up David Eagle blind. So it's just. I'm pretty sure the great Takamura can, can take whatever's thrown at him. But it's just. Eh, there's an interesting element. Because we don't know if. Now we all know that he got thrown up the window <laughs> due to the last chapter with Yamaguchi. But will she show up to the match? Is the question. Will she show up to the match? Now he refused <laughs> to beg to be with Yamaguchi. But it would be something. You can say that Takamura has at least ha 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 have gained ha has went somewhere to the fact that she's able to show up. But there's no guarantee she will. Arguably most of the time she showed it to one of his matches. I didn't miss matches. Most of the time she even showed it to matches in the series. Was this for Epo? You dare compare me to? That's <laughs> just sad. Oh, that's messed up. It's just yeah, it's just messed up. But uh, the last the legend, the great Takamura. It's just it's it's, it's just uh, uh. yeah. But I, I got no fear with the whole preparation thing. But the most curious thing is is what both fighters should be bringing into the uh into the fray because even the announcers said everybody said this is Takamura in his best condition we have not seen Takamura in his best condition ever throughout the entire series because with the whole Brian Hawk thing he was originally a Japanese middleweight he took the Japanese middleweight title from the champion but he only got a world title shot uh, he aimed for the world title shot from Brian Hawk and then he, uh, he challenged uh, Keith Dragon and then he challenged 
David Eagle. But I don't know why you just call him Keith Drake. Because like, someone so I made the mistake because he's blonde. But they don't even have the same hairstyle. I don't do whatever other fighters either. So it's just, eh, eh, eh. But from that aspect, it's just like, especially like he was hitting the mitts with a coach. Does Takamura have some two, some type of new punch, some type of new tech, uh, the new technique he could pull out from his arsenal? What can Takamura bring to this fight that is different from before? Takamura analysis he's strong. Everybody else has analysis that keeps dragging his strong. to be one of his strongest opponents that Takamura has faced to this date. Besides from that question about draw record, which it's quite strange how Epo watched all the fight footage besides from the one where he got his draw. Because all the fight footage we saw from David Eagle was every single one of those who's just knockout, knockout, knockout with a classic one two, even though he's a southpaw, like he's together. But we've never really seen him or anybody talk about how did Keith Dragon get the damn draw? Was the person he going against that good? Was the person he got the draw against Keith Dragon? How did he get the draw? No one's talking about it. This is some type of top secret information, I guess. Like you expect that to be the first thing Epo watch out for, but he says nothing about it. Unless you don't unless they keeping that tape hitting like he's uh young B. Kim from Ashton No Joe and the Korean government don't release it. The, the, the New York New York State Commission just won't release the athletic footage of Keith Dragon. It was so brutal. It was it was so savage. He disfigured and killed a man. Uh, who knows? Who knows? I'm sure some might say the most interesting one would be just, of course it would be Keith Dragon because he's the new opponent. He, he's the new opposition here. Why, why wouldn't he be interesting? Why would it be fun to find out what Keith Dragon do? And it, and it really would. But it is quite curious and what, I don't know, it, 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 it's just strange. Because it's just like all this time, we never did see Keith, we never get the whole what the heaven cannon is or what the ground cannon is. Sure, that could be safe for the fight, but no one discusses it. Miata points out like he's right, eh? But that's pretty much it. It is strange how to emphasize on his right hand, but originally he's supposed to be a southpaw, but I believe that he is amadestrious. I'm butchering that word again. I'm always on butchering it because I haven't heard that word in a while since I was like elementary school. Didn't anybody talk about it? So it's just it's just one of those things where I just haven't heard of it in a few decades. So it just I, that's why I personally believe Key Dragon is. It just makes more sense to me, especially how the whole. Oh, I realized that he put uh, piece of, uh, pick up the Mel Jones pieces with his left hand a lot. Just, uh, he could be ambidextrous. He pretty much could be. Even the coach could have said that. Just, pretty sure he's ambidextrous. In my opinion, he would. But hey, maybe. Maybe I'm just wrong. But, uh, hmm. We still got those two lingering questions. And I cool in the fact, like the, should we like to focus on the punches that Keith Dragon could potentially turn out? Does Keith Dragon have excellent footwork? Because you already know that Takamura has excellent suit work. I already brought up how this man somehow can pull off the Ali shuffle. This man can shuffle that there's no tomorrow. So it's just like those Keith Dragon have a like What type of match would this be? Because Manjong is nothing like the chess that but Mike Elliott and uh, Vork Zangief are playing. I've never played Manjong. It looks similar to Domino's to me. But. Because yeah, that's the way Keith Dragon sees it. And I don't think he's ever addressed if Mike Elliott is a chess player or not. So I just maybe might see some Manjung boards or we get some combination punches set up and, and it's just a perfect line, a perfect one, two, three, four, five, six, Takamura split open, five, seven, the blood side over his eyes, the days everywhere. It's a perfect setup. I got Takamura in my track. You go go on and finish it, Keith? Nah, nah. It's not he's not done yet. Like always, they all got some type of trick under their sleep. Who knows? Cause now some might say I haven't really brought up the whole aspect of Oh, what about Keith dragging his luck? I don't think it really too much matter anymore. As in, I don't, it will be brought up, but it's not like it was before the fight. So anything lucky that would happen at most, in my opinion, what, what they're talking more gets another Charlie horse. That's pretty much it. That's in my opinion, potentially. Because who knows? Who knows? Who knows indeed? Because with the whole luck aspect, we still don't know what to what degree his luck works out inside an actual match. Besides from that whole, maybe because of the judges thing, besides from that, I, I can't really see how his luck could work in the middle of a match unless he got superior punch accuracy or something. Because unless it's that, then it's just it's a question of how would, theoretically, Keith Dragon luck work out in the middle of a match? How would it? 
Would it affect Takamura's punch accuracy? Would it affect how Takamura had to set up his punches or his combinations? How much would Keith Dragon Lux factor into this? Or like I said in the video I made before, is it just dumb luck or is Keith Dragon just all skill? Cause it's like, it's like doing the preparation time, it's a little bit of both and the whole luck thing calmed down as it got closer to the match, it would make sense. Cause like, even though Keith Dragon is lucky, he takes a lot of pride in the fact that he does the work himself. And it's just like, sure, I do get some assistance with getting like safe travels and things work in my favor that way. But when it comes to the actual match, I'm like, I'm, I'm the one doing all the hard work here. So I, that's the way I, I see Keith Dragon picture it. It, it, it. Maybe you guys should picture it a different way, but especially like doing those later chapters, it, it does not seem like Keith Dragon just like, oh, just my luck does all the work for me. It's just Keith Dragon puts in the work. It just, he gets a little assistance and, and it just so happened the judges gave Keith Dragon an extra point because they both fell down inside that round and, and because of that because of that technicality he got a draw and we don't know we could easily we can have an easy argument that Keith Dragon got his first draw all uh, because it was his first match could have been a debut match he could have been like an Itagaki type situation we still did not know the significance of the draw is but it'd be further explored especially Keith Dragon's secondary intentions Especially the fact that he suffered from the same malaise of McCarter Martinez, the pound for pound great in the world. It will be an interesting video to discuss who would win between him and Takamura if they was in the same weight class or the pound for pound status. But, uh, something for a different video. But, you know, there's still like a lot of uninteresting things with, uh, Keith Dragon. Not cool the fact that Ipo was in Mexico for like what, one, like a week or some days or so? Maybe two? So I don't know what him and the coach have been practicing, what's been going on since then between Takamori and Coach Koagama. I, I don't, it's quite, I don't know why I'm more interested in what Takamori could bring. Cause it's not from the luck factor, it's just the fact that if he just, I don't know, I don't know. It's not the fact I don't expect to get anything special from Keith Dragon. But it's just one of those things, cause I don't see Keith Dragon to be like a Richard Bison, but Takamori got to counter some major technique he has, no. But there has been a whole thing that Takamura have not fought an in-range slugger yet. And I have brought this up before how he has fought in outboxes, he has fought in guys uh, with uh, unusual, unarchy like styles. He have, he's fought a boxing perfectionist in this type of way. And Keith Dragon, he's fought a long-range man. And not in Keith Dragon's side, David Eagle. And he's fought a long-range man within Richard Bison. But he has not fought, in my opinion, a close-range in-fighter slugger. Just like him. Got the, a similar arsenal, but... Hey, deep inside the corner like he's a my, like like what's gonna happen? Which would be very interesting. Cause I once did question what if Takamura or Fight of Takamura. And Keith Dragon is rocking that pompadour like he's his. It's just it's a different style and everything. So it's just Hey, we could be having a mirror match here more than we think it is. Cause I doubt it's gonna be a thing where uh, Takamura and Keith grew up the exact same way like the good old days. Uh, it would be interesting because we don't know anything about Keith's corner either. We haven't even heard his uh, his head. No, we we have heard his head coach speak. But that's pretty much it. That's that's all we got from him. So I'm just we gonna have to wait for the actual match. And some other things is some other things which is also haven't discussed. We don't know who's on Takamura's undercard. Takamura just usually just don't fight like with Richard Bison. Oh, yeah, with Richard Bison there was no Richard Bison with uh, Brian Hawk. There was uh, Epo on undercard with David Eagle. I forgot who it was on David Eagle. I know the fight was set up by something else, but I don't think... Yeah, I think it was just made just does uh, Takamura have a detached retina. And with Richard Bison, it was uh, Mishiba and Sendo. So we don't know who's on the undercard this time around. So we don't know what's going on. It would be perfect if it was at the Dome, but next time, damn it. Now, next time, I already said we're going to set up in Vegas to make his US debut. So next time, it won't be the Dome. Unless it's Epo coming back, then it could be a dome. But I think the next match after Keith Dragon, whether he win or lose, would be his say, American debut. So, and some might say, do I still feel the same way about if Takamura could win or lose? And I don't know. It's just because there was one period. I think I, I think I never uploaded that video. Where it's just like I don't know, man. It could be a chance that you know Keith Keith can take Takamura out, and it'll be like it will be all over. He just there's no guarantee that he will conquer like five or six weight classes, but. Yeah, I said the match can go either way at this point. I'm telling you, eventually Keith Dragon will run out of luck. It can be even start off right off the bat where Takamura is just tripping over his own shoelaces. Cause actually, another thing, with all the preparation time, with Keith Dragon's luck, more than likely Takamura will make it to the match without any problems, without any serious injuries. 
But nine times out of ten, that costume Takamura is gonna wear is gonna be a joke. I'm sorry, I do not believe in Wataru. He's a scumbag like the rest of his family is. I'm sorry, I don't believe personally that Wataru Takamura would actually produce a good costume for Takamura. For like for decades, we've had Keep uh, Takamura inside the Eagle costume, iconic, the bird robe. He was fantastic, and now it's just like, well, you know, brother. After all these years, I I, I got a design for you. Is he gonna push the mark in the front of the Takamura family and scumbag? That's that's all he is. I I, I don't know. I I don't think I even see Takamura's family too much of humor anymore, personally. But uh, I I know one thing. I don't believe that ring costume gonna turn out all right. I don't know what what it is, but I don't believe personally that costume is gonna turn out right, man. I don't know what it is, but I just have a distinct feeling that that costume is not going to turn out all right. I don't know what it is. All right, I don't know what's telling me this. But I just have a personal feeling, a personal belief that Rotaro is going to butcher that costume, man. And it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be even worse than that whole Panda incident that happened where it led to that bar fight with, with Sendo and Mishima and Dante and Okada and uh, Se uh, Seiki. It's going to be even worse than that. At, at least that was that wasn't really comical. It was just, uh, uh, it's just talking more. What were you doing, talking more? But in this case, this would be the first time we're talking more going into the ring and get laughed at. Usually, talking more had the crowd on the side at the beginning. But what if Keith Dragon has a better intro? What if Keith Dragon has the crowd on his side from the beginning, and the Japanese public have gotten sick of the great talking more? What if this is the case? What if this is what's going down? What? If there's so many questions, so many predictions, no one knows how it's going to turn in my opinion. But I know one thing, I'm pretty sure that costume is going to be hilarious. I don't know why, I'm just saying, if it turns out that the costume is a comedy gag, all I got to say is, I, you, you heard it from me first. It wouldn't be the first time I was right, but all I'm saying is, watch out for that costume. Watch out for the costume. I don't trust Wotaru. All right, I'm not as trustworthy as Takamori is about his brother. I personally don't like the kid anymore. I thought those decent people along with the sister, but nope, the scumbag number one and two to me now. So it's just, I have no heart for them at all. But hey, maybe the costume might be good. Maybe Takamori won't have any problems. Maybe he won't trick over his own shoelace and bust his lip wide open. But could this be also be a case just so happen that usually Takamura always no 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 eh, eh, usually Takamura always sleeps in before his match but I don't think we've seen Takamura sleep in before this match like in the waiting room waiting for his match to show up yeah cause like in, it, the last chapter ended off with uh, them going to the ring so it is a, a Takamura standard that he's taking a nap before a match so what if he can't go to sleep this time bad sense of luck maybe he couldn't stay up he was up all night fighting mosquitoes <laughs> this again <laughs> uh who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Cause like I've always said, I don't think anything with the whole bad luck thing or the good luck would actually be reflective in the actual match. As in, Keith Dragon would be able to win because of it. I don't, I don't see that happen. But I do believe since Epo is not, as in, is, is, is Epo gonna be uh, Takamori's corner man? Because if he is, if Epo can be a part of the corner team, that's when the comedy gonna really start, man. That's where things are gonna change 100%. We seen what happened with Kimura when that in that chair, and some might say, "Oh, it was Epo oh, first time." No, no. With that Keith Dragon luck, I'm telling you, the Japanese crowd is not going to be on Takamura's side this time. It, it, it's all different. It's, it's not the same no more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it's not like Keith Dragon. It's not like a uh, damn it. It's not like David Eagle was hated, unlike Brian Hawk was. It's not like Richard Bison caused the crowd either. But. Mm, mm. Cause you really see the crowd turn on Takamura at the end, but what if it's reversed this time? And at the end, you'd be like Takamura, Mamaru, that they'd be screaming. And also, could it be a possibility? Could it be a possibility for the first time, Takamura's father will make his appearance? We get to see some type of flashback, some type of glimpse of the Takamura father. Now, I would say the mother is as important, because at the end of the day, in my opinion, I believe it was the father who who who, who put that his foot down and said, Takamura, you gotta get out of here. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you walking around here, Takamori. You, you've embarrassed us for the last time. You disgraced the family. Get out of here. So it could be a chance in the middle of the fight, or even as the intro, that Takamori's family, and hopefully the mother, can see what's going on with her also, will f finally show up for the first time for a Takamori match. 
possible because that is still his son and he still has their name attached to him so it's just because like if the brother's going out of his way the little brother say hey look you can wear our merchandise why wouldn't the Takamura father show up and be like hey 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 this is a bit bigger big for my company I uh, I need to see how little Wataru's in, in, entire design project gonna turn out I, I, I'll see I don't know. I might be one of those few people who don't like talking more family. Cause I, man, I just don't see them as good people. They're more like inhumane machines, pretty much. Have no type of soul to them at all. Just they're just there, pretty much. Pretty much. That's 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 the way I pretty much see them. They're just pretty much there. Don't really do anything. No, it's just like like if it was anybody else, it, it, someone would call it wrong. But it's just, it's one of those cases where it's just like, hey, look, my son finally became something. Let's go hang out with him. Then the brother didn't have the audacity even to show up. Why, why, why you gotta lecture him every time you see him? Why can't you just talk to talk more like a normal person? Nah. There gotta be in some type of slight. There gotta be some type of lecture that happens. He's not looking for anybody's validation. Arguably, I wouldn't even want him to show up, to be honest. Keep in contact with them savages. Especially after that brother saying, I'm gonna use you just for the merchandise frame. That, that's just and it's sad how Takamo doesn't respond to it. It just, it just, just like your brother just want to get. At least, at least the older brother makes sense, but the younger brother, we'll be here for days. We will get our set up the predictions, but it would be interesting if Takamo's father, the pappy, finally make his first pants and how he react seeing the coach. And how, that's, that would be an interesting showdown right there. The coach versus Takamura's father. Who's the pappy? <laughs> That's not funny. Who, who's, who's the real pappy? Uh, who's the pappy? Uh, that, that that would be interesting. But but when as it comes for predictions, I don't know how the actual fight is gonna turn out. I don't know if it's gonna be more similar to a Manjong fight or is. Good old Keith is just a little bit slugger because it seems the way that uh you uh. Yami, I gotta call him Yami something now since he's the, the star Mahjong player. Well, he was Yami before he was neutered and turned back to Yagi. Can the way Mahjong seems to be played between Keith and Yagi, it does not seem like it takes much for a setup. And it could be one case for it's a Mike Tyson scenario and talking more first round, first minute, first three seconds, he gets laid out across his back. He gets stressed out and waiting for the gurney and keeps keep dragging because that right hand is just that nasty. That right hand is just that vicious. It's just that destructive. The heaven candy have brought him back down to earth and it's time to smash this bird once and for all. Could be. Could be. But who knows? A lot of things can happen. We don't know if there's like there's gonna be a focus on the undercard and we'll get straight into the fight. Because remember the last few times you gonna thought gonna get straight into the fight, the fight didn't happen. Or we get the weigh in. We get about two to three chapters where the fight is not even happening. So I'm not saying the fight's not going to instantly start in chapter 1332, but all I'm saying is don't get your hopes up for any fish to be flying. I could be wrong, but after this track record, I thought the fight going to start after the weigh-in. Nope, we get the Takamori Yamaguchi side shenanigans, which I enjoyed, but mm, mm, I say 13:33, the first match, the, the the bell actually rings. 33:34, uh, I'm not confirming or denying anything. 33:34, the bell finally rings. But uh, as for that, that's. Pretty much it. That's all of my thoughts about the predictions. Talk more family. How the fight could turn out. What type of punch would be thrown. Because I really do hope Keith Dragon is a close range slugger. I really do. For Talk more, get to see how it feels. How it's feel to get pounded on. You know, just like I quote that thing Sendo said to his uh, coach. Whose name I can't remember. And I've seen him so many times. Like, and I think his name is really said. Sendo's coach is just like. Oh, when Ippo hit me back there. The light went off and went, came back on again. So that's how they must have felt. Huh? When I actually hit guys with my punches, yeah, and it's just like because it's like, what are we gonna do about it? Yeah, what am I gonna do about it? <laughs> uh, that that season one greatness right there. But uh, yeah, yeah. There's not too much else to talk about really besides that. Like, cause it's not like any of the build up gives you too much to work on. Only thing we know that Keith Dragon got a good left and right hand. He could be ambidextrous, and that he got something called the ground and heaven candy, which I theorize is an uppercut 
in a chopping right or chopping right in the uppercut, I first bring you down to the earth and raise the earth to your skies and in your entire career. Or it could be a chum chum situation where we got the actual real Young B. Kim and he's a multi combination. Who knows? Who knows? Because uh, uh, it could turn to a multitude of ways. Cause we don't know why it's called the Heavenly Cannon, why it's called the Ground Cannon, unless he's trying to imitate Do Porochi from Baki in the whole Heaven and Earth stance. And it's just, I, I've already broken down the whole. Uh, uh, upper and lower type thing, so I know. It, it all depends how it turns out itself. It depends how George wanna uh, wanna set this up, cause this is one of those fights. This is not one of those in between intermediary talking more fight. This is this is this is the big boy fight here. This is where the 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 for the champ for the WC the WBC championship here. This this is the real deal. Now the question is, will Takamura become undisputed or three belt unified at super middleweight? That is the question. Because with junior middleweight, he was a WBC champion. With the middleweight, he was the unified WBC with the IBF and the WBC champion. And he's only going against Keith Dragon for the WBC. And arguably, there's no guarantee that the Keith Dragon fight will be a long fight. And somebody say, oh, what, what, was it? What, what about all the hype? Yeah, but there's no guarantee of this. Like, ask Kohasawa. He had all that hype with Shinada. And look what happened to him. He barely lasted, so there's, there could be a possibility that Keith Dragon could be an intermediary for it could be an undefeated, undefeated Takamura at the weight class, or like a three belt wielding uh, unified champion Takamura. But it depends. Then now I think about it, we're all expecting Takamura to have a tough fight, but technically that long fight is not even guaranteed. Not really. So it could go on for 20 chapters and go on for 30 chapters, go on for easily a good five chapters. We don't just know. Cause I should have sworn with all that build up with Billy McCullum against Ricardo Martinez, it's gonna be the real deal. And George said, nah, son. Nah. No. You thought wrong. You 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 thought wrong, so. Who knows? Cause if it goes either way, I wouldn't be mad with Keith Dragon. He really wouldn't he get knocked out in early like in the fifth round, or if it goes all the way to the championship rounds. I wouldn't mind either or because just like seeing how Keith Dragon fights and the interaction between him and Takamura would be just as interesting. So I wouldn't be mad either way. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much been the video. The thoughts and the predictions on chapter 1332 and going on with, with the whole fight between Keith Dragon and Takamura is just it's like. Uh, truthfully, how much more could you really ask for? Because not like, all right, we get a detailed breakdown. We know what fighting style Keith Dragon got. We, we already know how he blocks. We don't even know if he got he, he blocks with the Philly shell or he uses that four that complete forearm block that George Foreman used. Well, George Foreman and Joe Frazier. So we don't know what type of what type of block he uses, or just the classic the peekaboo or or, or what is it? We don't know which hand he's dominated in yet, so it's just there's a lot of factors. There's, there's a lot of things. There's just you just can't say right off the bat how the fight will actually start because there's no guarantee in the next chapter the fight will even start instantly. So it's just I don't know. I just hope for the best. Really, I don't know. It's just because for a prediction video, geez, this has been all over the place. I I, I don't even know. It's, but I hope you guys liked the video. I don't know you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. How do you believe the Keith Dragon versus Takamura fight turn out? Do you believe that we ever get to see Takamura's family? Because we've gotten to the point that we've even seen what Aoki's father looked like. We've never even getting his tense backstory of Aoki. No one even cared about the extra backstory about Aoki. I don't hate him, but it's just like... We learned that that Tehei is, is, is his brother. It's just like, what? And what do you mean he was on a TV show? What do you mean he was on the Japanese John and Kate Plus 8? What do you mean? Apparently he was. <laughs> so, he's the only person with the Core Gamma 5. We have not seen what his entire family looks like. We haven't seen his mother, we haven't seen his father. We've seen Itagaki's mother and father, Kimura's mother and father, Ipo's mother and father, uh, Aoki's mother and father. You've seen everybody else, mothers and fathers, and besides from Takamura. So, just. Some might say, what about Kentaro? But. Look, 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 Kintaro will be addressed eventually, eventually, but, uh, eh, 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 to be quite curious, but I've been Chakra King, at this point, bunch of rambling at this point, 
But yeah, at this point, hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, and what do you believe how this fight will turn out? What do you believe type of shenanigans will go down? What do you believe would happen? Because I believe this is one for the history books. We'll keep dragging, knock out Takamura, and with Takamura, slay a dragon, and become the WBC Superman Champion. And remember, fun fact. He is still the junior, uh, the junior middleweight WBC champion. He is still the IBF and the WBC middleweight champion. So he's still holding those belts in the weight class. So it's just a question of. So uh, yeah, it's it, video cut off, but it's been more shock King King. It's it, it, been Mr. Shockwave King. Like, comment, subscribe, and how you believe this fight will turn out. Been Mr. Shockwave King, and uh, peace.